I'm gonna show you how to make a professional thumbnail using your phone using a free app that works on both Android and iOS devices. And if you're new to the channel and you wanna learn how to make better content on your phone or be a mobile YouTuber, be sure to hit that subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos that can help you succeed at both of those. Okay, so getting back to the tutorial, I'm gonna use two images that I've previously downloaded to my phone. The first one is a simple background image. It's a piece of old wood. Now you can use any background image that you want or you can use a solid color or a gradient. But if you wanna use a background image and you're wondering where you can get one without having copyright issues, walk around your house, go outside, go to a park, go to a local cafe, take your phone and take a picture of something. The image that I'm using looks like the top of an old beat up picnic table. So look around, look at your tables, look at your walls, look at the ground. I'm sure you can find something to take a picture of. Get creative. The second image that I'm gonna use is a cutout of yours truly, and it was saved as a PNG, I put it on my phone, but you can do the exact same thing, and if you don't know how to do that, I'm gonna put a link right here to some background eraser apps. You can go through those and find one that works great for you, or you can use the app that we're gonna to use today, which is called PixArt. So let's open this up, and let me show you how to make this thumbnail. Okay, so we're gonna open up PixArt, and then we're gonna choose images to work with. I'm gonna choose the background image that I already downloaded, so now the background image is open and you wanna make sure that your size is the correct size. At the very minimum, the size should be 1280 by 720 and that's a 16 by nine ratio. So the way to check that is go to tools, go to resize, and you can see your image size right here. You can see I'm making mine at 1920 by 1080, which is a lot larger. That's fine, but the minimum is 1280 by 720. So I'm gonna cancel and I'm gonna back out of there. So now I have my background image set. I'm gonna go down to the bottom and I'm just gonna scroll over to add photo. And I'm gonna go look for the second photo that I downloaded and that's me. I'm gonna hit add and there I am. Now I'm gonna use two fingers and I'm gonna zoom myself in just like this and I'm gonna move it until I'm happy with it. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna hit the check mark up here on the top right. Okay, so that's me and that's the background. Again, you use any image that you want and any background that you want, including a solid color or a gradient, it's entirely up to you. Okay, I wanna pause for just a second because I wanna hear from you. I wanna know how you're currently making your thumbnails. Are you using an app? What app are you using? Are you on your phone? Are you on a PC? Are you on a tablet? Go down and leave a comment below. Let me know how you're making your thumbnails. I read every single question and comment and I reply to as many of them as possible. When this video is over, I'm gonna go down there and carry on this conversation. So now what I wanna do is add some text. So I'm gonna scroll along here until I see the text icon down on the bottom. I'm gonna tap on that and I'm gonna type easy. Okay, so the word easy is up here. I'm using one thumb and I can move it and then I'm gonna use two thumbs here to move my image around. And you can see you can delete it with this little X up here in the corner. You can spin it on the top right or you can resize it down here on the bottom right. So I'm going to spin it just a little bit like this. Then I'm going to enlarge it. So it looks like that. Okay, now if we go back down to the bottom, you see color, stroke, opacity, blend, shadow orientation, and bend. I'm gonna change the color. I like bright and bold colors, so I'm gonna tap here and I'm gonna use a yellow or an, or an orangish yellow. Okay. So that sticks out a lot. And by the way, I like to use the biggest, boldest fonts that I can find inside of the apps. And the reason I do this is because I wanna make sure no one has any difficulty reading my thumbnail. Someone might have poor eyesight or English might not be their first language or they might've had one too many glasses of wine and everything's starting to get a little blurry. Whatever the case, I wanna make sure my thumbnails are easy to read because it's gonna to be too easy for them to just scroll on to the next thumbnail if they don't understand what's happening on mine. So keep that in mind when you're adding text and choosing a font for your thumbnails. Okay, so we have our text up here and I wanna add a stroke to it. So I go over to stroke I tap on that, and if you see I take it down, it goes away. And if I go all the way to the right, it gets larger. So I'm gonna add it about right there. Now for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm not gonna change the opacity, I'm not gonna blend anything or add any drop shadows, but you can do that over here on the right. So I'm actually happy with this. That's pretty easy. So now I'm gonna add more text. I'm gonna to go to the top to the plus button, and I'm gonna add text. YouTube, I'm gonna tap that, okay. I'll zoom in here to get to it. I'm gonna spin it 
and then I'm going to enlarge it. And as I do that, I want to make sure that it's even with my other text. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to tap on that. I'm going to change a color. I'm going to do something bright. YouTube is red, so let's do a red. Mm, I don't like that red. I'm going to go back to this one. I'm going to add a stroke. Now it's a little bit crooked. That's fine, you know, if you want to add a little bit crooked, it might actually catch someone's eye. So you experiment and see what's going to look good for you. Actually, I'm going to leave that. I like how that's looking. So easy YouTube. I'm going to add one more line of text. So I'm going to tap the plus button again. I'm going to go to text. Easy YouTube thumbs. I'm going to bring that down. I'm going to turn it. I'm going to enlarge it. And by the way, when I'm moving the image back and forth here, the background image, I'm putting both of my thumbs or two fingers on the image that I'm moving it around. This allows me to zoom out and zoom in. Yeah, I'm actually going to make this one a little bit crooked too, going the other way. I kind of like how that's looking. So I'm going to tap on that. I'm going to go to stroke and a big old stroke on it. All right. Let's go over to color and let's add blue. Oh, we do not want blue. We want a black stroke for this, but you use any color that you want. So the fonts that I'm using, the colors that I'm using, and the strokes that I'm using, do whatever works for you. Let's see here. I'm going to go to the actual color, and I'm going to pick blue. I'm going to tap on that, shrink it down just a little bit. You know what? I might even make it a little bit crooked. And then bring this down. Okay, let me shrink this and see how it's looking. Okay, I'll be honest with you, not feeling that one at all. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to tap on thumbs. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to tap on thumbs. And I'm going to move it up and try to make it about the same as easy. So at least that one is the same. Let's see. Nope, I don't like that either. I'm going to straighten this one up. Okay, so I have this in here and I don't like the color of YouTube. I'm just not feeling that. So I'm going to go back to color and I'm going to find another color here. Let's try green. Easy YouTube thumbs. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. If you want to save this, you want to go up to the top and tap on the check mark. Then you want to tap on the arrow on the top right. And then all the way down at the bottom, you see save. You want to tap on save and it gives you an option on where to save it. I'm going to save the picture to my device. Okay, now it's already saved it, and it gives you additional areas that you can save it to. And if you're not feeling this particular app for any reason, that's okay. I'm going to put a link right here to some of my favorite apps that you can also use to make YouTube thumbnails with. And I made a previous video on a free app called Snapseed. If you're interested in watching that, I'm going to put a link to that right here. That's a really simple app to use, and I walk you through the process of making a very basic thumbnail. So be sure to check that out if PixArt isn't for you, or you just want to explore other apps to see which one works best for you. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. If this is your first time here, be sure to hit that subscribe button, followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos, and you can continue to learn how to master your mobile. And I'll see you in the next video.